Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction to geometry, point, line segment, line, ray, angle, triangle, quadrilateral, circle. Now geometry. What are we going to learn in geometry? In simple words, geometry is all about shapes. Variety of shapes that we see around us. Let's look at some examples where we encounter shapes in our day-to-day -day life. Let's say that uh, somebody asks you where is your school located and how far is your school from the shopping complex and from the bank. Now when you are sitting at your home, how do you actually locate your school? So let's say you take a map or you take a sheet of paper, you draw the road roughly and then you try to point out the location of your school using a dot. You put a dot and you say that this is where my school is. Similarly, you put a dot and you say this is where the bank is located. So this gives an approximate idea about the how far the school is from the bank. Similarly, again with the dot, you try to show where the shopping complex is. So what are these dots? These dots are points and these points are specifying location of objects or location of places for that matter. But what are these points? These points are shapes. These are also a type of shape. Let us talk about your notebooks. When you look at your ruled notebooks, what do you see? You see these lines inside the notebooks. And why do you have those lines? So that it, it becomes easier for you to write inside the notebook. You can write everything straight. So what are these lines? These lines are again shapes. So these are also one type of shapes. You think of the wires, the straight wires which connects the uh, telephone towers or the electricity wires in your locality. You would have seen from the towers, the wires go straight. So what are these wires? What are these? These are also either curved lines or straight lines. Now they may be straight if the wire is like very tightly held between the two poles. But if it is slightly curved, in that case it is a curved line. So that is also a shape again. Think of the light that comes out of the torch when you switch it on. So have you observed that the beam of light comes in the form of kind of straight lines in the form of rays. So this is where you see rays and what are rays? Rays again are a type of shape. So here we encountered points, here we encountered lines and here we are encountering rays. Think of a scenario when you open the door, somebody knocked and you try to open the door. So what happens? Have you observed that the orientation of the door with this base, the wooden frame. Now normally every door will have a wooden frame like this. And then on this wooden frame you have the door situated like this. Now as you open the door, do you see that the orientation of the door with this fixed wooden frame changes. So basically the angle increases as you open the door. So this is where you deal with angle. Now angle again plays a very important role in shapes because as the angle changes, the shape also changes. Now what are all these lines, points, rays, angles? So what are these? These small things form the basis of geometry. All of these things help us to form a variety of shapes that we see around us. Now, let us look at some more common shapes that we can easily relate to. Have you seen these kind of shapes? The shape of a star, the shape of the heart, the shape of a circle, maybe a bangle, the shape of a triangle. So you see, there are so many different types of shapes which we come across in our day-to-day -day life. And the most of these are like many of these shapes are closed shapes like a circle or a star or a rectangle or a kite. So these are all closed shapes. When you look at the sun, sun again is in the form of a sphere which is more, more or less like a round shape, a circle. Kite. How does the kite look like? So this is also a closed 
shape. But this closed shape is formed by lines, it has lines, it also has points, it also involves angles. So you see using those basic geometrical things you are able to form these type of different shapes like stars or the shape of the door that is nothing but a rectangle. So these are the variety of shapes that we see around us. Now you can do a very quick exercise. Right now, wherever you are sitting, just try to look around yourself and try to see what are the different shapes that you have around you. You might be having a notebook, you might be having a pencil, a pen, a, a computer screen, a mouse. Look at their shapes and try to analyze what kind of shapes are they. <clears throat> And you will see that every object has some specific shape. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.